In this video, I'll show you how to upload videos faster on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go below and consider leaving a like as well, as it helps get this video to more people. Now, please do watch this video right until the end as well, so you know all of the tips and tricks of being able to upload videos faster to YouTube. So, with any further ado, let's go and jump into this guide. So, as you can see, I'm now on my desktop and let's go and continue with this guide. Now, just a quick note this guide is going to work on Mac and Windows, and with any further ado, let's go and jump into this. So, the main thing which is going to be affecting your internet upload speeds. Um, so uploading your YouTube videos and that taking a long time is the size of the file. So if we come and click on here, this is the example video. I'm going to right click on it and then go to properties. You can do this in Mac as well. As you can see here, size 308 megabytes. Now this is still quite a big file, but you can even have gigabyte files, of course, depending on how what quality you upload your videos in. But this method we're showing you is going to shrink it no matter what. So yeah, basically the best way to go and upload your videos faster is to go and compress them. And I'm showing you an awesome tool on how you can go and do that, which is completely free by the way. So let's go and get into this. So the first thing you want to do is go and open up an internet browser. So I'm using Google Chrome. Now I'm gonna go and tell you the tool, but do keep watching. I'm showing you how to use this tool and then what effect it can have at the end of the video. So the tool is called Handbrake. So H-A-N-D. B R A K E. Just like so, just search for Handbrake and I'll be showing you the official site, which is handbrake.fr, and it's called an open source video transcoder. Then you want to simply go and click on the download button. As you can see, it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So hit the download button and then it's going to go and start it down here. As you can see, it's quite a small um, install, it's only 15 megabytes. And you're going to go and get a Windows Cootie pop up, which unfortunately my game recorder won't record. And then we just have to run it through the installer. So make sure you do go and read the license agreement. I've already previously read it. Um, and then you can choose the destination folder, then go and click install. And as you can see, it doesn't take too long at all. And it's literally already done. So I'm going to go and create a desktop shortcut. Now let's go and open it up. So let's just go and double click on it, just like so. And then it's going to go and bring it itself up. So I'm going to zoom in on this so it's nice and clear. But the first thing you need to do is simply go and open up a single video file or you can go and up multiple as well which is useful but i'm going to open up one for now so then i'm going to go to my desktop and go and find the file which is called guide and then go and click open once you've selected it and it's going to go and scan it now personally i don't really change any of these settings but you can yourself so in summary um, you've got some but the main thing you want to check is the dimension so as you can see this is still 1920 by 1080 and then you can come to video and you can go and change the fps so if you want it to be 60 then you can go and change it but you can actually have it up to 120 which is really really cool and that's sort of the main thing so that's how you can go and change the frame rate and the dimensions and you've got the codec as well and the next thing to check is where you want to go and save the file so i'm going to go and save this to my desktop so i'm going to change this to desktop just like this and then I'm just going to name this saying um, guide small just like this just so I know it's smaller and then I'm going to go and click start encode and it's going to go and start it and I'll show you the size once it's finished. So guys it's now finished and it says Q finished so now you can close off handbrake. So let's go and open up the first mp4 file I initially started with. So this is a 308 megabyte file and the new one um, which we just rendered through handbrake is now only 54. So the new video is six times smaller than the initial one. So that's really, really cool. So that means it's probably going to upload six times faster. But of course, it's going to vary with every different video. But if you found this guide useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. Leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.